So the Martingale collar, which is the one that I'd recommend most, although I use the choke chain, I recommend the Martingale most because it's a very easy collar to use and it's very safe for your dog. The Martingale has the distinct advantage that no matter how hard you pull on it, it does not choke your dog. It'll only cinch or contract to a certain distance. So if that's the size of your dog's neck, it will not get any smaller. The Martingale allows you to adjust the collar to a comfortable width. I'm going to show you how to do that and then use that size on your dog so that you still get the contraction so your dog won't pull out of the collar but your dog will not be able to choke himself if you leave him alone or anything like that. I don't recommend leaving collars on your dogs when you leave them alone with the exception of maybe a, a name tag collar or something like that because there are some inherent risks especially with smaller dogs that your dog could end up choking themselves. So the Martingale collar, this is the type that does not have a buckle, a snap buckle to open and close where you could just put it around your dog's neck and snap it. This one has a, an adjustable strap so you can make it as tight or as loose as you like. The advantage with this one is, remember, the buckle is going to be the weakest link in the chain. And if that buckle breaks or comes undone, you lose your dog. And that's an important aspect to remember when you're using a collar. The collar is there to protect your dog, not necessarily to control or to, or to train him. It's there to protect him from getting away from you. So when I take the Martingale collar, I'm going to see if this is approximately the right size. I put it over my dog's neck, and that happens to be the right size because as I contract here, you can see that now the dog can't pull out. It's big enough where the neck portion of his head, where it meets his skull, um, is contracted. So it doesn't, it doesn't allow him to pull out of it, but yet it allows him a lot of loose play. It's a comfortable collar. I can get both my fingers in here. And that's an important aspect, that this collar should be loose enough. I can get my fingers in behind the collar and pull, but it can't just flop over his neck. So here you can see it would be a bit of work to get over his neck. I'd have to undo this strap a little bit and then pull it out over his neck.